back. Have fun. Thank you, too. Thank you. Welcome to Walk with the Cross. During the season of Lent, as we prepare for uh, the very special week of Holy Week, Palm Sunday is the entry of Jesus into the Jerusalem. Easter is that great celebration of resurrection. But during the middle of the week, there have been tremendous things that Christ has been about that if we follow his walk and if we enter into his passion, we understand that Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. So with the Stations of the Cross, we invite you to go on a walk. It might be a virtual walk with this group of people. It might be a walk using the script going outside with uh, some friends socially distant. It might be in your own armchair. It might be in lots of ways where you do a few Stations at a time or all of them all at once. But it is important to prayerfully think and to be a part of what Jesus has done for us. And by that, we enter into his glorious resurrection. So go on a walk with us, for a friend, with your friends from our saviors. Uh, I'm Pastor Betsy Dart, and we have uh, other friends from our saviors who are going to be sharing this walk with us. Pastor Susan Lee. John Dahl. Joan Puyat. Wendy Thon. Jim Hupka. Rachel Welch. And Zachary Queensland. And thank you to Darla Erickson for all of the taping and the video uh, expertise. We are blessed by the ways that we can grow in faith. And now we turn to station one. Station one, Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. A reading from Matthew 26, verses 36 through 41. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by your holy cross, cross you, you have redeemed, have the, world. redeemed the world. A reading from Matthew. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, sit here while I go over, over there and pray. He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be grieved and agitated. Then he said to them, I am deeply grieved even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not what I want, but what you want. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So could you not stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Something to think about. How does God answer your heartfelt prayers? I find that God does answer, and I hope that you do too. But sometimes the answer is not quite what I expected. And yet, in retrospect, I see that God's intention is always to bless. Perhaps the hardest prayer for us to pray is, Lord, not what I want, but what you want. Lord Jesus, Jesus. help us walk in your steps. Let's walk in your steps. Station two, Jesus is betrayed by Judas and arrested from Mark 14, 43 to 46. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because of your, your holy cross, you have, you have redeemed the world. 
A reading from Mark. Immediately, while he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, and with him there was a crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him and leave the guard. So when he came, he went up to him at once and said, Rabbi, and kissed him. Then they laid hands on him and arrested him. Something to think about. When have you betrayed the trust someone else? And when I think about that, I think about that there have been so many times that I can't even count, which is why it is so important that that be included in uh, a regular confession of sins as we, as we do in, in our faith. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, help us walk, help in, us your walk steps. in your steps. Station 3. Jesus is condemned by the Sanhedrin. Luke 22, verse 66 to 71. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by your, your holy cross, cross you have redeemed, you have redeemed, the, redeemed the, world. the world. A reading from Luke. When day came, the assembly of the elders of the people, both chief priests and scribes, gathered together, and they brought him to their council. They said, If you are the Messiah, tell us. He replied, if I tell you, you will not believe. And if I question you, you will not answer. But from now on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. All of them asked, Are you then the Son of God? He said to them, You say that I am. Then they said, What further testimony do we need? We have heard it ourselves from his own lips. Something to consider. When have you felt the pain of rejection? We've all felt that pain of rejection throughout our lives at one time or another. But something that I have always been able to glean from my church family is that inclusion and that forgiveness. And that's something I'm missing now, but will have certainly soon. Lord Jesus, Jesus, Jesus help us walk, walk in your, in your steps. steps. Jesus is denied by... Station number four. Jesus is denied by St. Peter. Matthew 26, 69 through 75. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because of by your, your, holy, your cross, holy cross, you have redeemed the world. the world. A reading from Matthew. Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. A servant girl came to him and said, You also were with Jesus the Galilean. But he denied it before all of them, saying, I do not know what you are talking about. When he went out to the porch, another servant girl saw him, and she said to the bystanders, This man was with Jesus of Nazareth. Again, he denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. After a little while, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, Certainly you are also one of them, for your accent betrays you. Then he began to curse and swore an oath. I do not know the man. At that moment, the cock crowed. Then Peter remembered what Jesus had said. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. 
something to consider. Have you ever told a lie in order to protect yourself? Lord Jesus, help us walk in your steps. Station five, Jesus is judged by Pontius Pilate. Mark 15, one through five, 15. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, by your holy you, cross have redeemed you have redeemed the world. The world. Redeemed the world. A reading from Mark. As soon as it was morning, the chief priests held a consultation with the elders and scribes and the whole council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? He answered him, You say so. Then the chief priests accused him of many things. Pilate asked him again, Have you no answer? See how many charges they bring against you. But Jesus made no further reply, so that Pilate was amazed. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas for them. And after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. Something to consider. What feelings do you have when you are treated unjustly? Lord Jesus, help us walk, help us walk, in, walk in your steps. Station six. Jesus is scourged at the pillar and crowned with thorns. John 19, verses 1 through 3. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by your, holy your holy cross, you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the, world. the world. A reading from John. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him flogged. And the soldiers wove a crown of thorns and put it on his head. And they dressed him in a purple robe. They kept coming up to him saying, Hail, King of the Jews, and striking him on the face something to consider. Have you made fun of someone and hurt them? Lord Jesus, help us walk in your steps. steps. Station seven, Jesus bears the cross from John 19 verse six, as well as verses 15 through 17. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by your holy cross, cross you, have, you redeemed have redeemed the world. A reading from John. When the chief priests and the police saw him, they shouted, Crucify him! Crucify him! And Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and crucify him. I find no case against him. They cried out, Away with him! Away with him, crucify him. Pilate asked them, shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answers, we have no king but the emperor. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus and carrying the cross by himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull, which in Hebrew is called Golgotha. Something to consider. When have you ever carried a burden with no one to help? And I think that we all have had the experiences and circumstances from time to time where, yes, we've had these burdens that are just so heavy and there's so much weight on our shoulders and it just seems that there's no one out there to help us. But let me reassure you that there's always someone to lean, to, lean on. There's always someone to turn to. Like, like my grandpa used to always tell me, and I always remember it, and I cherish it in my heart. You can always lean on the faithful, everlasting arms. Lord Jesus, help, help us, us walk, walk in your steps. steps. 
Station 8. Jesus is helped by Simon the Cyrenian to carry the cross. Mark chapter 15, verse 21. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because of by your holy cross, you have redeemed, you have redeemed the world. A reading from Mark. They compelled a passerby who was coming in from the country to carry his cross. It was Simon of Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus. Something to consider. How have you helped someone who needed your strength? Today I just called people and said, how are you doing? They gave me more strength than probably I gave them, but I hope that I was able to help them. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, help, help, help us, us walk, walk in, in, your your steps. Steps. in your steps. Station 9, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. Luke 23, 27 to 31. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, your holy cross you have redeemed, redeemed the world. A reading from Luke. A great number of the people followed him, and among them were women who were beating their breasts and wailing for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For the days are surely coming when they will say, <laughs> Blessed are the barren, and the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, Cover us. For if they do this when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Something to consider. What brings tears to your eyes and sorrow to your heart? Lord Jesus, help us walk in your steps. Station 10. Jesus is crucified. Luke 23. 33 through 34. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, your, because holy by God, your holy cross, God, you have the redeemed the world. A reading from Luke. When they came to the place that is called the skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide his clothing. Something to consider. What happens to you when you realize that you have done wrong? Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus help us walk, walk, walk in, walk your, in steps. your steps. Yes. Station 11. Jesus promises his kingdom to the good thief. Luke 23, 39 to 43. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, your holy, by cross, your holy cross, have redeemed the world. In the world. A reading from Luke. One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you, do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds, but this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Something to consider. What do you think heaven is like? Lord Jesus, help us walk, help us walk, walk in your walk steps. In your steps. 
Station 12, Jesus Speaks to His Mother and the Beloved Disciple. From the Gospel of John 19, verses 25 through 27. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from John, and that is what the soldiers did. Meanwhile, standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the, and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. Something to consider. When have you taken the responsibility to care for someone else? Well, when I, when I uh, contemplate on that question, I always think back to when my grandpa, Bud, when he was suffering with uh, esophageal cancer. And, and that, that was something that was completely unexpected. It was something that came about uh, out of nowhere. It caught me off guard. But um, one thing that I learned through that is even though there was, of course, a lot of heartbreak and sorrow that came, there was a lot of uh, glory that you could see that came with it. You could see the ability for a human, for a human soul to endure, if, that if he or she puts his, tr her, his or her trust in God and leans on the, and trusts in the faithfulness of God, we can be blessed with that reassurance that Jesus is ours and that we will always be able to prevail and overcome anything. So just always remember to be faithful, and that includes being faithful to those we are called to take care of. Lord Jesus, help us help walk, us walk in, your steps. in your steps. Station 13. Jesus dies on the cross. Luke 23, verses 44 through 46. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by, your holy, by your, cross, your holy cross, you have redeemed, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. Redeemed. A reading from Luke. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. While the sun's light failed, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last something to consider. How do you face the death of a loved one? Lord Jesus, help us, help walk, us walk in, in your walk steps. Our steps. <laughs> Station 14. Jesus is placed in the tomb. Matthew 27 verses 57 to 60. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because, because by, your by your holy cross, cross you have you redeemed, redeemed the world. the world. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. So Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn in the rock. Then a great stone was rolled to the door of the tomb and he went away. Something to consider. How did you feel when you had to walk away from a bad situation? I think for the followers of Jesus, walking away from the tomb at the time of his death was the most difficult thing they would ever have to do. They did not know what was yet to come and it was a very hard thing. There are times when we face those things ourselves and you simply walk away in sorrow or in grief. But I have also discovered that when 
I walk away from a bad situation, it is not the end. God is full of surprises and turns things around and mends the old places. And after his own timing, there is a new life. Death, waiting, and what will happen when God takes hold again. Lord Jesus, help us, help us walk, walk, walk in, your in your steps. steps. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Father, Father Lord in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, name. thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will, will be done. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily, day our bread. daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. Our trespasses. As we as forgive those, we those, trespass those who trespass against, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace.